Today we're working on Michael's diesel truck, but we have begrudgingly called the compensator. And most of you guys hated that video, but that's okay. Uh, we call it the compensator because it has a 10 inch exhaust stack and had a well pipe. That is neck down to his stock three inch exhaust because why the hell not? It's kind of funny. Sounds pretty good. But uh, we're working on the old compensator today because uh, Michael's got a hellaciously bad fuel leak. Isn't that right, Michael? Uh, the fuel leak right there. Really? Yeah, we got that fixed last weekend. Oh. But it's got a lot of wear spots, like right above your head. Like oh, right, yeah. Yep. Right up. And it's all right wet. Up there. Where that zip tie is, yep. you look a little further. You can see where the zip tie is rubbed through the rubber. Oh, uh, it's all kind of wet down here. Uh, I still got a fuel leak, but it ain't uh, what it was. But it's, uh, fuel's coming out of my factory fuel housing for some reason. Hmm. I ain't ever been a fan of this push lock blue hose. Really, if you're gonna have stuff near metal and stuff like where this is getting close, like especially up there by the engine. Really should be steel braided or something a lot stronger than that stuff, so. Let me just pull you out of here. We got a bunch of A in line. I can't remember what this is, dash 10. No? Yeah, dash 10. Steel braided from Jags, bunch of fittings. So we're gonna make Michael a stainless steel braided fuel system, basically. Hopefully we got enough fittings here, all courtesy of Robert Jags, the Man of the hour, tower of power, Ayatollah of rock and roll. Did I miss one, Michael? I'm always afraid I'm gonna miss one of those. But uh, yep, we're gonna basically build a fuel line. We'll show you the ins and outs of doing braided stainless steel or any kind of A in line. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. All you really need is a place to clamp the stuff and a way to tighten it down. I have my actual fancy A in wrenches so we won't scratch the nice fancy black finish. And uh, you can use a regular old crescent or regular wrench, but the steel on the aluminum will scratch the piss out of it. And you can wrap it with tape and stuff, but as most of the old timers, like my grandpa would say, right tool for the right job. Right tool for the right job. So that's what we're doing today. And we'll just kind of give you a little summary of how to do it. You know, if you guys don't know, which most of you should know. See, just need a little masking tape. Where is my bad tree productions tape? There it is. Put one little winding around the stainless steel braided. Once it's been cut, that just keeps it from fraying. And then, yeah. Literally all an AN line is is a compression fitting. So if you can do it for compression fitting on brakes and stuff, you can make braided stainless steel line, you know, AN style line. So it's pretty simple. So we'll get to work. So Michael will get to work and I'm just gonna walk around the camera and look, ooh, zip ties. That's what I'm gonna do. Hope you enjoy it. If you don't, and not a big deal. If you don't watch it, just figure we'd film it. Just see what's going on. So see you in a bit. Snake in there, Michael, you can do it. Yeah, I don't know what size it is. It's about that size. <clears throat> not that size. I got the wrong one. Oh. Well, you should get the right size. Michael's gonna disconnect that bad boy. He's got it disconnected to the back, so it shouldn't squirt a whole bunch of fuel at us. Maybe. Shouldn't. As long as we get the right size wrench on there. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Looks like eighth of a turn at a time. Yeah. So this this might take a minute. I don't know if you guys can see that. Guy. Yep, right there. That little guy right there is what we got to take apart. Of course, you got one of those fancy fuel pumps on here, don't you, Michael? No, no, fancy. Yeah. Fancy. I don't even know what that. I don't know what that stuff does. This is diesel stuff. All, all foreign to me. Like, that's the weirdest looking carburetor I've ever seen. Oh, failed humor. Off day. What the you help, Michael? Start a camera being in your face? <laughs> Already? Just started? <laughs> yeah, you just, there's not enough room to get anything. 
Look at that. All that moaning and complaining. You gotta be a contortionist. It don't look that bad. Ooh, gurgly. I'm rerouting this son of a bitch where it's going down and not up and then yeah. down. And... There's a lot better way of doing this fuel line. Yeah, this is kind of janky. I ain't never been a fan of this. Let's see if we can I get mean, it. It's not even a push lock. I mean, you just slide it in there. And... Oh, wow. Yeah, I definitely ain't a fan of that. Yep, much needed upgrade for sure. Basically, just a freaking barb fitting almost. Yeah, I think so. Oh, hell, you just, look at that, you already cracked it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, just rip her on out of there. I'd like to, but it won't come out. You want me to get a knife? Let me just get a knife, Michael. Oh, there you go. Really? Huh. That's it? That's yeah, I don't know if I would trust that with all that pressure on a diesel engine. That's kind of janky. Yeah, I ain't a big fan of that. <clears throat> it'll be it'll be a lot better when we get done with it today. So, oh yeah. Hopefully we got all the right fittings and stuff. I won't tell anybody. It's on the cardboard. What the heck is this? Is that like a PCV valve on <laughs> That's what it looks like. Just a little right. plastic elbow. Yeah. I'm not I'm I'm not real keen on that. This is my I remember my when you fix, did that. Because I it blew at work. I remember something like that. So. Well. You'll kill some weeds, Michael. That wasn't long for the world. Wow. Yeah, that would have been bad if that would have blew. That's pretty thin right there, and there's probably more places. I mean, all this area right here is all chewed up. Yeah. All of that stretch. Right there. What's up by the engine bay? Yeah, there's another big gouge right. Oh, there's that. Yeah. It's probably then, where it rubbed in the frame. I'll turn it back around. There was a big old gouge right there. And then it's all cracked right there. And another wear spot, more cracking. So... I'm not a diesel technician. My my suggestion is be by the fast systems. Don't use these this fucking hose. Yeah, I, I'm not a diesel guy, so anybody who's a diesel expert can correct me, but but hot rods, I wouldn't use that. That's just that's no better than rubber hose to me. No, yeah, that's kind of cheesy. Yeah, don't use that. Spend seven hundred dollars on the fast fuel system. Cheese ass hose. Well it worked. I mean, rubber hose works too, but it don't work as good as other options. So that'll class up the old compensator. By the way, we painted the bed out of the blue the other day. You know, good old paint over rust and dirt, but it looks a lot better. That's right. A lot it better. Works. So let's get to work on figuring how much hose we're going to need and start building stuff. So obviously this is the length of hose we need at least at a minimum. So what Michael's gonna do is lay out the steel braided and probably go a little bit more. Yeah, we'll probably run it before we cut it. Well, yeah. We'll get it connected at one end and then run it to the other side. You got plenty there. I can't remember what this little hose was. Maybe it was extra, just in case. I want to pass for my return. So we're gonna run that on my return That's line. probably the return line. In that case, we don't have enough fitting for that. No. These are for the main line. And these are in case we need to splice it. Okay. So if we want to return run the return line, I'll have to get another one of these fittings. Okay. Is your return okay? Yeah. All right. Then we, I know. I don't we don't. Get it that close. Yeah, return line don't matter. So, which one of these is going to the front of the engine? This one. That one? Yeah. So, our 90 degree elbow. Yeah. And then probably kick it to the back. Yep. What I'm thinking. Yep. So then that'll run straight back. And that should be a long enough elbow. I'm hoping it gets it back over in here somewhere. Well, here. Do a test fit. See just how it looks. Camera, you've got to cooperate with me trying to document our 
fallacies. I can't even see shit. Oh, I can't see nothing because there's a black fitting on there. Sorry for the camera noise moving the little thingy up. Almost. There you go. I like so. That's way better. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's literally going to point. Oh, well, that's pointing kind of at your starter, but that's pointing in the direction you need it to go. Yep. That's. Oh, the fuel is all over the cardboard. Uh, Flip the cardboard. Let's see if we can see it. Yep. Oh, that's going to be perfect. These guys can't see it because I'm on a GoPro. I can't zoom in, but that's literally looking straight at me. That's going to be perfect. Love when a plant comes together. All right, so what Michael's going to do is he's going to snake that steel braided up through these little this little crevice, a little hole straight down through there. And I'm going to hold it up against on. That's our fitting right there on the barb. And then we'll give ourselves maybe like four inches or something extra wide. Oh, here it comes. Look at it. Look at it. It's snaking its way up. Look at it. There it goes. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh, almost. Got it. Got it. A lot of sharp stuff in this engine bay. Yeah. That good. Let's see. Yep, I'm at the end of the barb. Now Michael's gonna mark it on that end and give us a little bit of extra. Oh, it's gonna be way better. Way better. This is what this fast kit should come with. And steel braided, you know, it'll look pretty and it won't rub through. It's protected, it's strong. And I'm sure there's something about running steel braided with diesel, I don't know. I don't diesel. I don't even in that much. But, oh, 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 it's moving on me. Anyways, I gotta shut you guys down so I can uh, finish this part. So now what Michael's doing is he's taping where he marked it. And you wanna tape it on both sides so we don't fray on either side. It's not very sticky. No. You want my hair? Use the yellow shit, Michael. This is the stuff from Bad Tree they sent me. This is way better. Yeah, this stuff sucks. Don't ever buy the blue stuff. I'm going to need that blue stuff. <laughs> Probably later. Yeah, you see how that didn't stick at all. It sticks to my finger. Yeah, it'll stick to the finger, but it won't stick to steel braided for some reason. Bad stuff there they sent me. It's That's awesome stuff. Yeah, you'll want to mark it on... I'm talking to the camera. You mark it on either side of the steel braid, and it keeps from fraying. I can't stress that enough. You don't want that stuff fraying on you. And you don't want to put too much on there or be a problem. And then your fitting, literally, well, this is just what an AN line is. Pretty simple. Get that screwed off there. That slips into one end of the hose. Make sure this collar's on the other end. And you just, boom. Done. Simple. Easy. And you can put a little grease or something on the deal so you don't gall threads or whatever, but it's your preference. Whatever floats your boat. Look at Michael. He's like a pro already. We just chop that baby and we'll show you. Now we got our hosey cut. We're going to get our slip collar on and this electrical tape actually, or this masking tape, not such a great idea. I think when I did the dart, I used electrical tape. It's, it's still letting this stuff fray, but you just want to get it on there without causing too many issues. Yeah, it's letting it fray a little bit as we're pushing it back. So, yeah, we'll get this on there. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh, almost had it, too. There goes that nice, shiny black finish. Still shiny. It's okay, when this stuff fades, it turns to an ugly brown color. It's amazing. Don't tell me that. Daniel Barber, all of his black fittings he bought that he was all proud of, they're all this really awesome shade of brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, however they do the black anodizing, it fades to brown. It's amazing. We need to cut a little more off that probably, Michael. That's fraying a lot. I'm going to get the electrical tape.
got it. You got it? All I had to do was walk away. Look at that. I did it. Woo! I did it. I'm doing a dance back here. You guys can't see it. So now what you do, Michael, bring, bring your hands over here a little more. Then you just want to slide that collar down as far as you can. And you're going to take your other end. You're going to spit on it a little bit because a little bit of lube goes a long way. And you want to get the lube off your hand. We're going to put this guy in the vise. I got electrical tape around it. You want to make sure your fitting is protruding just above. There we go. And now you tighten. Which with that big old hose, that's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun. Shit, I'd almost rather have that. This one in the vise. Yeah, we might we might swap those. Be easier. Yeah, let's swap those. This is better. Do it like this. Um, there's two brothers here for a reason. One of us is smarter than the other. Yeah, that that's much better. <laughs> yeah, you just get her started in there, and you just take your fancy A and wrench if you have it. If you got a brother who dumped a bunch of money on it, and you got the right one. No. If you got a younger brother that was dumb enough to spy the fancy A and rent. And he still can't find the right one. Rob, what the hell did you send me? Why it no fit? It says 10. It fits there. Why don't it fit here? Rob, what are you sending me? I need like an 11 for that piece. I don't think they make an 11. I think they only come in even numbers. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why we have the adjustable. And this is all you do. You tighten it down. And you have AN. Michael, I'll let you finish. Thanks. Well, it's your AN line. And you see that? You use the electrical tape. And did we scratch the shit out of it? Nope. A little bit. Well, that was already there. Yeah, that was there from Jake's. So the yeah, 10 man. fits on this end, right? Yep. Now, what about our other fittings? Because if you want to do it underneath the truck, we're going to need. We're going to have something to fit this. Mm. I don't get that. Why? I just don't understand. That's, that's the 10. This is the 12. Not even close. The 16 obviously is too big, and so is the 8 and the other one, so. so I guess the adjustable. Yeah. That's why you buy the adjustable. And that's also why I have a crescent wrench out there, and we can just electrical tape the crescent wrench. Yeah. I don't know. You got a wide jaw out there? I don't know. I'll bring my wide jaw out there. All right. On to building the this rest of This is one good example of why I bought these Tanner brand and wrenches because I got this claw end and then the straight end and right now that claw is the only reason why Michael can tighten that fitting on that uh, pump. Okay. Well, it's bad. You spoke too soon. Shit. Rewind it. Rewind the footage. Mm, where's our angle? So, fancy tanner wrenches. Look really pretty. Finish goes off real fast and uh, not good for tight spots. Yeah, see what wrench we went to. <laughs> so that's tight now? Yeah, that's tight. All right, well, hopefully we'll have a better chance. I don't think we have a better chance of putting that one on because, well, that, nope, those lines don't move too good. And that, that one fitting is going to go right there. Uh -huh. There's no way to get it from that angle. What about this angle? Probably not. We'll see. Yep, we'll go for it. <clears throat> All right, so we'll snake this bad boy in there, and uh, <clears throat> this will be fun. I'm just gonna go from the top. You're actually gonna try and go from the top? You no, sure? Not. Yeah, I was gonna say. Just hand it back up to me. Yeah, and I'll reroute it after we get it in there. Hit. Hand cam. Oh, there it comes. There it comes. 
Can I grab it? Oop. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. My way, Michael. You're up against the block. I trying. I can only do so much. Well, Dad, got it. It's okay. So is the camera. I think I've lost the camera in the engine bay. Oh, almost. So close. Got it. Got it. Don't drop it now. <laughs> okay. Come on, little hand. Let me get it. This is like the worst time to be filming. I got it up against there, but I can't use either hand. There. Oh, there you go. I can't see. It's okay. Just do as Dad does. Film the dirt. Can you go in that way? Can you see it that way? <laughs> Barely. A little yep. side video scenario. I see why you had trouble getting it started like this. Yeah. It's kind of awful. Awesome. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? I can barely. I just see a bunch of hands and a bunch of grease. <laughs> Braden. I don't know why I'm filming so much. I'm like, you're crooked as shit. I couldn't see nothing. I ain't got as long a legs as you. Which is weird because I guess I'm technically taller than Michael. Just barely. I'm getting a step stool. Make life a lot easier. Our multicolored pretty step stool. That step stool really goes with Michael's eyes. It really brings out his outfit. That's so much better, Michael. I'm glad I could help. So much better when you get it straight. Oh, well. You know, words. Catchphrase here. Yeah. Did you get on there? Yeah. Now we're going to tighten it. Um. Well. I'm thinking we take this here air horn off. That ain't going to do me no good. Well, if we take that off and we take this pump off and then we got silicone because we don't have any gaskets, I'm sure it'll be fine. No. No? No. 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 He said no. Let me see your range. Which one? Uh, There's 30 of them up here. Yeah. Oh, from underneath. Giving a little reach around action. Ding, ding. Man, ding. Let's see. You guys are going upside down. Any better? Can we see the action? Hey. Oh, there goes the hand in the way. Uh, yep. Yeah. They're going to work? I wonder. I, I realize all this filming is just more editing for me in the future, and I'm gonna hate myself, but uh, I don't wanna miss nothing. Yeah, there ain't a chance they can do it from down here. Not even close. Alrighty, so this is the rest of the diesel deal. You need this little adapter, which I don't remember what part number it is. That goes on the fast pump. That actually might work out once that's on there it might space it out enough and then this is our other end this will go on there and then those two will attach like such so now we're going to fight getting this end on here away from the vise yeah this is going to be fun yeah all right so before you go cutting michael let's just give a little psa electrical tape do not use it grew with it and frayed it because we we're having trouble getting this end on so we said we're going to Cut it back a little bit because the jigs tape they used, it was fraying. Well, this is what you do not want. So, wrapped it with a shitload of masking tape. Now we're going to try it again. And that is what you want. Now we just got to unwind the tape very cautiously. Well, it broke right there on that last deal, so you can just rip that off. And as long as it don't pull everything else off, we'll be fine. Whoop. Whoop. Don't whoop. Okay, there we go. Now, sorry camera, that should go on there with a little bit of a fight. Steel braid is a little bit more painful than the nylon. Oop, oop, almost, there you go, almost.
Oh, God dang it, Michael. You almost had it in. You almost had it in. Look at that concentration. We're just looking at that concentration. <laughs> That's what she said. You almost had it in. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. I think I'm going to stick with the nylon. It doesn't hurt as much. I'm just not into that masochist life. All righty. So Michael's got that bad boy on there almost all the way. You want to make sure it's seated all the way down. <coughs> I'm working on it. Oh, you got it. Yeah, you're good. And now we'll spray a little WD-40 in there. And then we're going to start the arduous task of trying to tighten these two together out here in the open. Woohoo. Now this is what you call make and do. We ain't got a vice out here, so. <laughs> It'd be nice if I had the crescent wrench that didn't have the giant bend in the handle. But, uh. Oh yeah, hopefully this works. <laughs> the moment I turn the camera on, this is gonna fail spectacularly with the C-clamps coming up my face, but this is actually working. Look at that, look at that, it's actually working. I just gotta hold my, my crescent wrench up against there and yeah, like I said, as soon as I say something. Because they're going wrong. But it's working. Make do. Alright. Well, that worked. Look at that bad boy. Guaranteed to probably leak like a sieve. Probably. That would suck if all this work and it still leaks. Oh. <laughs> That'd be a mad motherfucker. Yeah, wouldn't be good. Alright. Well, you got the two hands down there. I got the crescent. Now Michael's just going to attach to that little fast pump right there. And then hopefully no leaks. So say a prayer in the comments. I'll check in when we're ready to test for leaks. All right, well the line down there is tight. So now we need to come back up here, crack this one so we can bleed the air out. And then hopefully the only leak we have is right there while it's loose. And then we tighten it up and no more leaks. And Michael can actually get the uh, fuel efficiency of a diesel, the benefits of it. Yeah. Even though right now our current crack ball is uh, raising all prices of all sorts of fuel, but hey, I didn't vote for him. That's gonna probably squirt everywhere. Yep, that's a solid stream. That's three dollars a gallon, dropping on the ground. I'm gonna go check back here. <coughs> There's nothing down here on the ground. So that's good news. Let's see. That's all what was there already. What's there. Of course, all that's brand new. And that's from the bleeding. That could be a metal song, the bleeding. That probably is already a metal song actually. Well, almost call that a job done. Almost. Yeah. But we got to hear the compensator run still, so. It's a glorious sound. Anyway, if anybody was curious how the compensator works, you have diesel sounds up there, and they go through what we call the freedom pipe. And the freedom pipe enters the universal pipe here, which is, uh, you know, fancy. That goes through a hole we torch through the bed into the 10 inch compensator stack. I don't want Michael fire this thing up while I'm down here. Oh God, he's gonna fire up while I'm down here. Alrighty, well Michael gave me permission to fire this thing up and I don't even know how to diesel, so. Let's see. Now you see the magic of the compensator. No more dripping. There's our fitting right there, our elbow. And instead of that line coming out of the pump and making a bunch of hard bends, it just got a straight 90 right there and it's all steel braided all the way down through. 
so no more leaking. If only Michael would come out and like rump on the pedal and make it smoke and stuff, do diesel stuff. Nah, we gotta get Michael. We gotta make him do it. Michael, make your diesel do diesel stuff. It won't? It won't blow a bunch of smoke? Well, you guys have a reason to dislike the video for real now. That's pretty disappointing. We're gonna have to make Michael wear the dunce hat again. <laughs> the dunce helmet. <laughs> it used to, I don't know, it just hasn't been lately. But Michael's gonna dissect a bunch of stuff off this crappy hose. And uh, yep, happy with that. Running, no more leaking diesel fuel. Sweet. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of something out of this video. And as always, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. So take care. Michael, take a minute. Bye-bye. Sweet. Dad, since you're in here, oh, God. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you guys later.